All right, so this is not the actual intro to the video, but in this video, Kenya is not present. So we got to get out. Oh, by the way, first of all, let's uh, thank Mr. Donovan at uh, Adventure Off Road. Yes, all his supply of oil and filters and stuff like that is great. Uh, Leoma, Tennessee. Yes. Yes. If you get a chance, get down there and see him. He'll do you a good deal. Anyway, uh, Kenny, you remember the four-wheeler I had, the can -Am? Don't remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. before I sold it, I actually did a bunch of stuff to it and put it on video. Some of it's already uploaded. Some of it ha hasn't been. So uh, this one's going to be when I put that big gun exhaust on there. <laughs> He's got a lot to say today. <laughs> He had a Can-Am. Yeah, I did. It would be a crying shame if Polaris was to see this video and That's try right. to outdo Can-Am. Daggummit. <clears throat> I mean... Polaris, give us a call. We can help you out. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it look, looks like we're uh, begging for something, aren't we? <laughs> anyway... No, we're not. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this is the video for uh, installing the, the uh, Top Gun muffler in... This isn't actually the intro. There's an intro right after this. So, I suppose... Oh, and he won't be in it. Anyway, here we go. Because of the Can-Am. Yeah, because of the Can-Am. Okay. Here we go. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Subtac Off-Road Life channel. You can call me Greg, Subtac or Mac, it does not matter. Now, just a while back I put up a video where I did an oil change and the can Am Outlander 850 XMR 2018. And in that video, I did explain that I was going to be doing other things like installing some lights, changing the uh, front and rear diff oils, fluids, and gearbox fluids. And I have since then decided to do a couple other things. So we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff, probably break it all up into uh, single parts so that. You know, I don't have one huge long video of a whole bunch of different stuff. Got me a new muffler. It's going to go on. Of course, the lights. Uh, head gaskets. Why would I need head gaskets? Because I'm going to adjust the bowels. And new belt. Why would I get a belt? Nothing wrong with one in it. The heck with it. I just wanted a new belt anyways. So, those are the things that we're going to do. Uh... So much to do, so much to take apart. I'm almost afraid I won't be able to put it back together. Oh well, I'll get it figured out because I got a ride. So if you hang on, we're going to get into it. And today we will start with the big gun. This ought to be fun. And while I'm taking that apart, I'm also going to take a couple different things apart just so I can get to the valve covers when it comes time. Uh, but today we'll just worry about learning how to take the muffler off and putting a new one on and how it sounds. So we're going to start off with a sound uh, bite of the stock muffler. And if you'll excuse me, I'll turn this puppy on. I'm going to give it a couple revs just so we can get an idea of how it sounds when it's revved up. That's what the stock muffler sounds like. Next thing we've got to do is take this thing off so we can put the other one on. That's obvious, right? All right, let's get to it. All right, so this is this. This is dirty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Anyway, we're gonna clean this a little bit, clean this up a little bit, and then this is the first bolt I'm gonna take out. And we got a couple others. Let's see if I can move this around without making too much racket. 
couple others in here that we got to get out so that we can, in fact, take the old muffler out. So I'll be right back and we'll get that taken care of. Okay, so before I get any further into this, I should probably tell you about the exhaust. It's the big gun exhaust. Um, I think there's other models made by the same company. This one is their it's 200 and some odd dollars and I ended up paying a little, little over $300 with everything uh, for it. So you can go look that up on Amazon or wherever you want to look it up. It really doesn't come with instructions other than it comes with this little bag. It has some stickers in it. I've already taken the stickers out. It's got the spark arrestor. So it shows you, it's got a little thing in there that shows you how to put the spark arrestor on. And uh, different things to tell you, you know, about, uh, you know, how to, that you should use Loctite, red, uh, putting them back together. Some... Some vehicles will require a remapping of the electronic ignition, uh, stuff like that. But it's, there's there's not like any step by step, but it's all pretty dang simple to look at it. So we're just gonna go through it real quick and uh, put everything together. All right, this nut is a 15 millimeter nut. That's the longest extension I got. Uh, if you've got a longer extension, it might be easier just so you can come out past the tire or jack it up, take the tire off, whatever you prefer. Uh, but it's also very stuck on there. So I'm gonna spray her down really good with uh, WD-40 and hope that that will uh, break it up a little bit, let it set for a while. Uh, then I'll come back and try it again. If not, I might start it up and let it run for a while, warm it up, that might help. We'll just have to see what happens. But just so you know, 15 millimeter right there. I think the other ones are like 13 millimeters. I haven't checked yet, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I find out. Begin the WD-40 spraying. All right, I'll be right back uh, when we start trying to take that off. All right, I'm sure I already addressed this, but 15 millimeter deep socket, a nice long extension, and you can get that on there. And that bolt back in there and uh, take it right out. After you soak it for a while, and I don't know after I get this out, it's still gonna uh, come off of there. I got two, two more back here, one at the top and one back on the back side. And those, they're 13 millimeter. Okay. So that is a nut. I thought it was going the other way. I thought that was a bolt head going through there, but nope. Guess it's a nut that comes off of there. So there's the nut I just took off. There's the collar and all. I'll bet you that stuff's just stuck on there like crazy. So I gotta figure out a way to knock that off of there. So the first thing I gotta do is take off the those 13 millimeters back here and uh then we'll see what we can do if we can get it off there or not all right this top one up here is pretty straightforward 13 millimeter uh both ends and i've got the camera all up in here nice and close so you can see it uh but i'm going to pull it out of the way so i can actually take it off you can see what's going on there and it's going to be the same thing uh down below and on the other side all right so i got those two bolts out of there now I gotta figure out a way to work this thing off actually feels like it might not be so so hard to do yeah it's just kind of twisted I watched some other other videos these guys working on these and it was hard to do and they would just try to beat it out that way and so I thought, well, I wonder if you could twist it and maybe break it loose. And so that's what I tried. I don't know. They may have tried to, they may have twisted it too. But, uh, I didn't see them doing it. So. But here we go. It's going to come out of there now. And there we have it. ta -da! Stock exhaust. Now we've got to get that little clamp off there because we're going to have to use that 
uh, on the new one. They did send me something similar for the new one, but this one's gonna be a lot better. That other one was kind of just a little piece of tin almost. All right, for this last metal piece back here, there's a nut hanging up here. And I was kind of looking around here because the bolt somewhere went somewhere. I'm not sure where it went. Oh, it's right there. That's probably it. I'll have to pull it out. But then this piece here, on this end, there was one more. There's a clip that you, on that one that was hard to get to. Re reason I took all this stuff here off, when you take that one out, this piece here is just up inside that clip. And so once you get this one off, that one just slides out. So, and then we just take the whole piece out of there. But now, it looks like even with this there, with the exhaust coming over there, I still have better access now to the valve cover. And I can get in there and make those adjustments. All right, so, had a bit of a struggle up here because when it was delivered or was in transport somewhere it got smashed and this front end and the, the end here got smashed so I had to figure out how to I didn't have any kind of a uh, pin or anything I could use to kind of knock down in there and wind it back out so I was you know just beating on it with a hammer and prying on it and <laughs> even at one point had a, a two inch ball hitch uh, laid down on it with, and hit it with a hammer trying to round it back out. We finally got it to slide on and it only takes uh, one bolt right here that comes with it and it, that's where it connects. You can use the collar that came off of the uh, stock muffler but they sent this one with it so I figured well okay I'm gonna keep the stock one safe and I'm gonna try it with this one just to see how it works and uh, it's only a 10 millimeter uh, deep socket right there and it goes right on slips right on so that's on let's see how it sounds I like it. Well, okay, so got that in. Now it's time to do, uh, let's see, I'm gonna do the valve adjustments, install the rock lights, uh, change the diff, front and rear diff oils, gearbox oil, what else? Clean it up really good, that would work. Anyways, uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. It, it, this was uh, kind of a pain because, like I said, the, the uh, end of that came smashed from delivery. And I didn't want to spend the time to try to send it back and everything. So we just figured out a way to, you know, round it out and get it back on there. And it only takes the one bolt back up there. And uh, then the clamp around the front held in there pretty good so next thing we're probably going to do is the uh, valve adjustments I'm going to try if not uh, we'll do the diffs and gearbox next then we got to figure out how to run them wires for the lights without them getting hot or bound up or something but anyway if you come this far appreciate it thank you so much uh, I'll have a link down below to that and uh, to the other stuff, if you're interested, you can go down there and, and follow it into Amazon. Don't cost you any more, any extra. I get a little piece of the pie, though. It helps me out. <clears throat> and uh, if you haven't yet done so, subscribe. Go to my Facebook page and Instagram. It's all Subtech Off-Road Life. And get the likes, follows, all the things it needs. I do appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, Kenny. 
How'd you like the sound comparison? Yeah. He didn't no. hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big guns seem like they have a pretty nice uh, exhaust system for Can-Am. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you want one, which I hope you do, there's a link down in the description, which will take you right to it. And it will help us out greatly. Anyway, thanks for uh, coming by, and I guess we will talk to you later. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there was a windshield wiper reservoir right there. Were you throwing that away? Which is this. It kind of sits down in there. Now, this Jeep ain't no bitch. It don't need none of this. So you just take cutters, and you just cut, and you do this. Ha <laughs> ha.